Now, you guys, on October 30th, Officer Masia, who was a 27-year-old officer in New York, had been patrolling the area when he saw a disabled vehicle. So he's saying once he saw this vehicle, he assumed that the driver needed help. So he pulled up alongside this vehicle and he exited his patrol car. But y'all, Officer Masia is saying once he got out of his patrol car, that's when shots were fired at him. So he's saying after the shots were fired, the person in that car ended up fleeing the scene. Now he wrapped up his wounds and waited for help to come. And that's when a manhunt began for that driver. So this officer told police that the person who did this was a dark-skinned man and he was in a Dodge Charger. So as police began this manhunt for this driver, the officer was treated in the hospital and when he got out, he was held a hero. Reported on the day before Halloween. He called in to say he was shot in the leg as he tried to help who he believed was a stranded motorist along the Southern State Parkway. Friday afternoon, fellow troopers saluted and cheered him as a hometown hero as he left Nassau University Medical Center. But y'all, not soon after leaving that hospital, police started to see that some of the things he was saying was not adding up. So he claimed that he put on his emergency overhead lights and that's when he went up to this car. But investigators say that if he had have done that, then his body cam would have automatically been activated. This officer's body cam was never activated. Not only that, they're saying where this took place, there was no surveillance, there was no cameras, there was no proof of this even happening. So even though just days prior, officers were escorting him back to his house and saluting him, now they were there to do a raid. So once they raided his home, they found some crazy stuff. One of the things was they found a ghost weapon that was untraceable, and they found over $100,000 in cash. Officers even found proof that this man shot himself at his home, and drove to that location and called in a fake call like somebody had shot him. He made up this being a black man that shot him. He made up the Dodge Charger. And as of right now, we don't know why he did this. Now, as we dig deeper into this case, we learned that there was another incident in 2022. Now, he alleges that he was hit by a vehicle while he was on duty. But what's strange about that case is the person who hit him and the car was never found. So is this officer doing stuff to himself and lying like somebody else is doing it in order to get praise? And why would this officer have hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash? Executed a search warrant at his West Hempstead home that he shares with his parents. The second time being injured, yeah. you know, he was hurt before. He was hit by a car while he was also <laughs> working. Now, y'all, we also find out that his dad was once a cop and his dad was basically fired from the force as well. It turns out that while his dad was a cop, they had reason to believe that he was also dealing drugs. Now, for legal reasons, I'ma say everybody is innocent until proven guilty. We're not accusing anyone of anything, but them having the hundreds of thousands of dollars at the house in cash, them having the ghost weapons that's untraceable, and him allegedly shooting himself and pretending like somebody else did it, I believe that the dad is tied into this as well. Y'all, it's no coincidence that his dad was allegedly dealing drugs and then you find $100,000 at his house in cash and he lives with his parents. Not to mention him and his dad were police officers. So they have suspended him without pay. They haven't fired him. They haven't charged him with anything. And I'm very curious as to you guys' thoughts on this case. Do you think that they will lift his suspension and let him start back being a police officer? Or do you think they're going to fire him without pressing charges? Comment below.